Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is the uh, what I got at the Sephora sale. I'm very late, but I had to be late ordering it because I, I knew I was getting the gift card. Uh, so it just came in and there are two things that I got from someplace else, but I still wanted to include them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Here's the first thing. And it is the Sephora brand storage, makeup storage. Uh, so it comes, you know, with a big top. It's the Sephora brand, so it was 30% off at the sale. So I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. So as you can see, it, it's a big top like this. And so you can put tall things in there, you know, your taller items in there. Then the drawers come out. I can't see what I'm doing, so I hope I'm doing okay. The drawers come out, and then this, and it's kind of textured through here. It's got a handle right here that you can carry it with. So I can't wait to go ahead and fill that. I wanted to show that first. Anyway, so I got that. That was the first thing, and I'm very excited about it. Okay, the next thing, I got two foundations. One is just, uh, you know, filling up my NARS foundation. It is the light reflecting foundation, and it is in the color Santa Fe. I just really love that, and I'll probably, I mean, I do YouTube, so I like to try different products to see if, you know, if it's something that I want to share, if it works for me, but I will probably always keep this NARS foundation. I really like it a whole lot. I just think it has a glow to your skin uh, and I don't need powder with it. I don't, it, it just lasts on me. It's just kind of for me, just the right foundation. So I will always keep that, but I do like to try others. And one I'm trying right now is another one I bought. And it is new to me, and I have been wearing it. Uh, I have worn it several times. I'm still out. I don't want to talk about if I like it or not, but I'm still wearing it. I haven't thrown it away or given it away or anything. It is the Found Sealer, uh, and it is from Tarte. It is new to me, so I thought, well, it could be that it's like already been discontinued or something, but I saw that it was still there. So it's multi-tasking multi foundation and it's got an SPF of 20 in it. So I have been using it under my eyes as a concealer and then putting on my primer for my eyes and putting that underneath my, a little bit, just right up underneath my lash line to see how well it lasts under there and then using it all over. It is, it is interesting. Um, I thought it was going to be too oily for me, uh, but I don't think it is. It goes on looking kind of oily, and but it dries down and it still looks, you know, very creamy on your skin. It just gives your skin a really nice appearance, but it didn't break down and it didn't oxidize and it doesn't, it doesn't make my skin look oilier. So uh, it's, it's interesting. I'm still going to work with it some, some more before I do a final, you know, thoughts on it. But I love the packaging. It is plastic, but it kind of looks like glass. By the way, I'm in the color uh, 27N. Okay, but watch this. So it screws up and you can lock it. And then there's your spout right there and you can get your foundation out. It's just very clean. I like that and other companies should take note. It hides away, but then when you need it, it pops up. I love the delivery system of this, and it looks very, very nice. It's good packaging, and it's a good foundation. I don't know how it compares with others quite yet, but it's a, it's a good one. I like it. The other thing that I got was a refill of my Victoria Beckham eyeliner in the color Bordeaux. I needed a new one. And look how nicely she packages stuff. So, you know, here's my box. And it came, I've already taken it off, but it came with tissue paper, very nice quality tissue, tissue paper that was sealed with a little sticker that was her logo. 
and then it comes in a pouch, a like a linen pouch, and then inside is your liner. But these these are so neat, and then you know you can cinch it closed. I give these to my granddaughters, and so they go around, you know, carrying little Victoria Beckham things all over town. So, but yeah, I think she does packaging very, very nicely. And she has a little handwritten note. Well, it's, it looks handwritten. And she has it VB on the bottom, and it's a little note saying how grateful she is. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's done right. Okay, so I got two eyeshadow palettes because I have lots of eyeshadow palettes, but I, you know, I like to buy more during sales and periodically so I can test them out and then review them on here. Okay, the first one, I have been looking at this since before, I think it was before Christmas. I like Huda eyeshadows, I really do. Um, they're a new discovery for me. The ones that I have, that have a lot of sparkle in them, they, it absolutely does not, I don't get fallout, you know, any kind of sparkles underneath on my cheeks or anything like that. Um, even if it's really, really sparkle, it just, on me anyway, it just stays put. It blends easily. I don't get any regular fallout from the mattes either. A lot of times I have problems with mattes getting fallout, um, you know, right through here underneath, falling on my cheeks, nothing absolutely nothing so I got I thought I want another Huda palette so I bought the empowered and I know you've seen it a lot I have it on today it is beautiful it's just gorgeous it's got a lot of real sparkly shades which I don't mind and I can wear a touch up of it in certain places because it stays put you don't have to worry or on me, even this sparkly uh, that they have. It just, I mean, you can tell when you swatch it on your hand, it's there, you know. I don't know if you can see or not, and I've got other stuff on there. But this is the bright sparkly yellow. You can see it just stays put. So I just, I really like her shadows. It was funny because I had gotten used to using one of my previous eyeshadow palettes by Huda. And I went to do something like Urban Decay or Anastasia Beverly Hills and I thought, oh crap, my goodness gracious, the fallout from other eyeshadow palettes that the Huda doesn't have. Um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. The formula on the shadows are absolutely wonderful. So, the Empowered palette. And I love the uh, blushes from Melt Cosmetics. The cream blushes, they're absolutely beautiful. Although, since I love them now, it seems like they've been either been discontinued or greatly reduced. Um, my friend Vicki told me about that. She said, oh, they've reduced the price of the Melt blushes that you like, that Honey Thief. And the pink sand, I wasn't even able to get them in the VIB sale because they quickly ran out at that lower price and they did not replenish and they're still not there anymore. I think they might still be on the Melt website, but I am very suspicious that they're going to be doing away with this. So anyway, I did want to try other Melt products and I've come up with a substitute for the melt also. So I got one of their eyeshadow palettes and this may be limited edition, but it was so beautiful I had to try it. It's the Gemini or Gemini or Gemini 2. And here it is. Oh it's just gorgeous. That khaki I think khaki is a very underrated color. There's a sparkly green, and my goodness, these burgundies are just right up my alley, as are these that are, you know, have a, a coral tint to them. This is just a stunning palette. It's beautiful. 
I did it in the look yesterday and then you know I'm gonna be for a while I'm gonna alternate and then spit all over the place and then for a while I'm gonna alternate between this and the empowered and just get some several different looks so I'm I'm very tickled with both of these okay so I got the Victoria Beckham liner in the color Bordeaux uh, this is a special formula it truly is I've talked about it before it is um, did I show you yeah show you. it is just it's soft so you use it up fast but I think the fact that it is it de it deposits a an intense beautiful color on your on your eyes on your waterline and it just takes an eye color and makes it brighter I, I can't explain it it's just absolutely beautiful I hope she always makes it I need to try more of her products because it's just quality this eyeliner is quality um, it's just it's beautiful I've never used another eyeliner like it um, and that being said uh, I do have an everyday that I use a lot liner two of them I have one from uh, Kat Von D because hers last really well but they are just not as intense and then between the two right in the middle is uh, Urban Decay liners this one I won't open it yet because I've still got a leftover this one is Black Market and the thing about this color this is why I keep it um, I it, it's it's a soft black it doesn't veer into charcoal or gray charcoal and gray I'm very sensitive to color <laughs> very sensitive to color for some reason I've always had the ability to see the tones behind the colors but a gray is just such a different tone it isn't a lighter color of black it's a different tone and a charcoal has some of that, that gray in it too it's just a darker gray with a touch of black in it but to get a true black it's going to be very dark that's why I like this black market it is a different uh, intensity from their color I think it's zero which is very very dark this one is a true black but it's a soft true, true black without venturing into charcoal or venturing into gray which is not what I want to use I like gray I like charcoal but I like a true black sometimes in my waterline and this color does the trick of being a soft true black like I said I'm very sensitive to color <laughs> so I like this and so I have it as a backup okay uh, my Shiseido cleanser I got another backup of it I'm about halfway through the one I'm using right now it is the clarifying cleansing foam uh, I like it a lot it's creamy it's foamy it wipes off easily doesn't leave product behind cleans well but doesn't strip so it's it's a great great uh, cleanser it's just the right amount of foam for me uh, I must be sensitive about foam too about my cleansers but uh, I, I really like this a whole lot the next one is a cream blush like I said I'm very worried about the melt disappearing so I got one from Tower 28 that I really like uh, a few months ago and it is in the color rush hour it's a beautiful coral but I got a new one I couldn't get my pink sand that I always do so I got one from Tower 28 called happy hour and it's a beautiful beautiful pink so I wasn't making myself really clear here what I meant was I couldn't find those colors in the melt cream blush and so I was looking for them uh, and found similar colors in the Tower 28 blushes it reminds me a whole lot of the texture of the melt blushes so I do feel like I have found a substitute if they discontinue it the melt blushes are really nice but so are these Tower 28 you can use these on your lips too I haven't tried that but they advertise it as being able to do that now I bought one more product from Tower 28 because I've been wanting to try more of their 
brand and I think it might be a bit of a fail I'm not sure it is a, a pencil it's a multitask pencil is what they call it it's called the one-liner so you can use it they say I guess if you get the right color on your lips on your cheeks on your eyes well the color I got is a brown and it's on me it's too dark for my lips it I was able to blend it out on my cheek I was able to blend it out on my cheeks and it did okay and so I tried it briefly by doing a liner on there but I think the formula is so blendable to make it work for your cheeks and your lips that it may not last I'm going to try it on my waterline um, and then I'll get back to you. I haven't discarded it yet or sent it back or anything. I'm still trying it out. But this color is not going to work on my lips and it's not, it can work okay on my cheeks, but it's going to be hard to find a color that will work on your eyes and also on your lips, I think. Unless it's a liner, if you're going to use a dark lipstick and you're just going to use it as a lip liner, and that's a possibility and use it maybe, you know, then around your eyes. But um, yeah. We'll give it a go, but it may be a bit of a fail. I may, it may not live up to all of the claims that it has, that it's just the last liner that you need. I, I have my doubts about that. But we'll give it a shot. There's my Victoria Beckham, and so I've got this, the Tower 28. Okay, so I got a new scent. Actually, I got several scents, but I will go into that. Uh, the one scent that I actually bought by itself was I was watching my friend Melanie, uh, Mr. Kong's mom. I love her, and I mentioned Vicki earlier. I love them both. I always depend on her to steer me into the new seasons and what she's like liking and the candles and the waxes. So, But she said, I bought this scent, and I really like it. It's by Seven Virtues, and it's in the scent coconut sun now it it doesn't really smell like coconut but it smells springy and fresh and I don't know you know Melanie can tell you what's in things and yes I smell this and then the top note and the, you know all that she can do all that I can just say if it smells good or not I'm not a perfume person in the least I, I haven't found things many things that smell great on me but this does I like this a lot. It is very, very nice. So Melanie steered us right on that one. It's a great one. Now, the last thing is my birthday gift because April was my birthday month. I got my birthday gift uh, and I chose, I don't ever use, I don't ever use Sephora skincare, so I didn't want the skincare one. And I can't remember what the other one was. So I chose the scent one from Nest. I had never smelled any uh, nest candles or anything so I thought I wanted to so the first one was a candle and it has a kind of a spa smell I don't know how I'm gonna like it until I burn it but uh, anyway it is the wild it's the wild mint and eucalyptus so it's a it's a you you can let I've got a sinus headache today so I might try to burn this but you can smell the eucalyptus in there but it is very nice a very nice little candle you know you get a kind of a sample of it and then you get you had two scents that you got with it and they are really really nice so the first one is wild poppy and it is a rollerball oh man that is wonderful oh gosh like I said, I've got a sinus headache and it's not bothering me at all. So I think that's why I don't wear a lot of perfume. Sometimes it can give me headaches. This does not. Oh, it's lovely. And then the other is a smaller sample and it is of Madagascar Vanilla. And it is just a little roll-on too. I like it. It's got, the other one smells a little, I don't know, a little fresher and a little more pleasing to me this is a little heavier and a little ex more exotic and it's just not as quite as appealing to me but it, it still smells wonderful so those are the two that i got this is a boy i like this birthday gift a lot of times i'll just okay i'll, I'll try that in the birthday gift yeah it's free i'll take it but this i will use these two and possibly buy more it just depends on 
you know, how well it ends up me liking it. And it came in this little box and it tells you all about it. So I can highly recommend this when your birthday month comes around. It was fantastic. So that's it. Uh, ooh, long. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Um, I hope I'm going to get my questions ready today to send to the doctor on the questions that y'all asked in the video uh, a few weeks ago. I'm going to send those to my doctor and have them mail them. So, um, you know, I won't be looking at that video anymore after today. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care and talk to y'all in a couple of days. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.